What's up guys, Silver here with another Halo Master Chief Collection Achievement Guide. This time we're doing Part 0 of our Halo 3 ODST Lasso Run. That's right, Part 0, because this is actually not 100% necessary. There's actually two Halo 3 ODST Lasso playlists in the MCC, and you only need to complete one of them to get the achievement. So I recommend doing the easier one, which is the non-stop action Lasso playlist, because it doesn't have all these individual Mombasa street segments, and it is thereby easier. So if you're tackling that easier playlist, you could skip this video and head straight to the Tiari Plaza Guide. But if you're a glutton for punishment and you want to complete the tougher one, then get ready. We're about to drop in here. There are seven individual Mombasa Street segments, so if you're looking for a specific one, head to the description and I'll have timestamps down there for you. Otherwise, just sit back. We're about to do all seven in order, so here we go. We're looking for Dare's Recon Helmet, and we're going to drop in and take some damage from the fall. And we're going to head on over to this Optican station here for our health pack, so we have full health, full stamina. Going into this section up ahead here, we're going to go to the right. You can go down towards the left, which is where all the enemies are, but we're going to stay towards the right and go up this ramp because we have a good vantage point over here where we could take out some enemies. We want to wait for one group of these enemies to come a little closer to us and we could take out the three grunts and then we'll worry about the brute later. So just wait for those uh, enemies to come towards us, then we can headshot all of the grunts, and then we're going to backtrack once we do that and we're just going to hide in a corner and wait for the brute to move to a specific spot. So we're obviously using our pistol here to take out the grunts with headshots real quick. Now that we killed all three in that group, we're going to back up and the brute will actually move in a set path. We're just going to hide in this general area. It doesn't have to be specifically here, but you want to poke your head out and just kind of look towards the ramp over there. You're going to see that the brute actually moves up the ramp and then just continues moving straight towards where we spawned into the map pretty much. So we're just going to let him continue moving in that direction. And as he makes his way over there, you're going to turn to the right and you're going to see a staircase that we're going to go down so we could actually go grab one of the plasma pistols from the grunts we killed. Obviously, you could jump down off the ledge, but you could take some fall damage, so you don't want to do that. So just go down the stairs nice and easily. Grab one of the plasma pistols from these dead grunts. Usually, they drop some plasma grenades you could pick up as well, but this time around, they did not, but that's okay. We don't really have any plans for plasma grenades anyway. Then we're going to turn towards the area where we spawned, where that brute went. We're just going to follow the path he took, basically. Come up behind him, and you could back smack him for the quick kill, which will also replenish your stamina. But you could also, if he does turn around and does notice you before you get to him, you could always just plasma pistol him to stun him and then headshot him with the pistol to finish him off. So obviously you want to exchange your SMG for that plasma pistol and then we could noob combo him real quick to make quick work out of him. I could have ran up behind him and smacked this guy probably, but I wanted to kind of show you how to deal with him if he does turn on you before you get to him. There's two options. You're going to be close to him when he turns on you or far away. That time he was close to us, so we could just overcharge Plasma Pistol him, which will stun him, and we'll be able to wrap up around behind him as he kind of takes a step forward and regains his composure, and we could back smack him before he does that. You could see I grabbed the uh, Optican health pack before I went down towards this middle area again, so we have full health for sure at this point and we're going to uh, go down here and pick off some grunts. There's another group of three grunts and one brute down there. You could go up here and pick these grunts off from far away, or you could close in on them and engage them if you would like. But we're going to basically take them out with some headshots, and then we're going to overcharge Plasma Pistol the Brute and headshot him as well. And the way we're going to take out this Brute specifically is with an overcharged Plasma Pistol like the first one, but unlike the first one, which we were close to, we're going to be fairly far away from this guy, so we can't really wrap up around behind him while he's recovering from that burst of the Plasma Pistol. So we're going to have to just kind of hang back and headshot him, which is easy enough. So... He'll often chase you as well once he loses his shield, so it makes it a really easy shot like that. So we're going to turn around. There's another health pack right here, so grab that if you need it. And we're going to uh, focus on the two additional groups of enemies. And similar to the first two groups, the last two groups are also just one brute and three grunts. So four enemies total in each group, and each group has three grunts, one brute. So easy enough. We're going to hang back kind of in the middle of this section here, and we're going to headshot all the grunts as they come down the left side over there. And then we're going to look for a fresh plasma pistol if we can so we don't run out of the noob combo when we're trying to noob combo a brute when he gets close up. But we're going to noob combo this guy. Like I mentioned, easy enough. These brutes have different weapons every time you play. So they could have a carbine. They could have a spike rifle or a plasma rifle. They could have a brute shot like that guy did. So uh, you want to just kind of take note of that. They're not always going to have the same thing. But now we're going to focus on the stairs, just kind of hang back still. There's going to be three grunts, as mentioned, and then we're just going to deal with the Brute easily enough when he's on his own here with a noob combo and finish him off with a headshot. So pretty repetitive there. Just let the enemies come to you, obviously. It makes it a lot easier instead of kind of running at them, and then you might get surrounded. But now that we've cleared out all the groups of enemies in this section, we're going to move forward in this direction. You want to keep your eyes and ears open because there's going to be something that tries to draw your attention to it. That's Virgil trying to get your attention, so you can see that phone right there actually turned yellow. That's because I have the visor mode activated, so definitely enable visor mode. It makes it easier to see enemies, important objects as well, so we want to grab health from that wall. 
At this point, I'm going to speed this up because we're just running through some hallways here, and you want to just follow this path, and we're going to come across a courtyard with a bunch of sleeping grunts, and you want to just run directly across it, and we're just going to kill all the enemies in our path, and then at that point, we could turn to the left and right and try to kill enemies as we run across. But you want to run and gun, don't stop. They're going to be throwing a bunch of grenades due to the catch skull, so that's why we wanted to kill the enemies directly in front of us first, because those are the grenades that have the trajectory that are probably going to kill us, or be the most likely to kill us. But we made it through alive, so we're just going to go into these hallways now, and I'm going to speed this part up because we're just going upstairs, just follow the hallways, go up the stairs, and eventually you'll find yourselves in front of a TV screen with Veronica Dare's helmet lodged into it. So grab that, that will activate the next mission and the cutscene. Now we are here in the second moment. After going down a few levels, you're going to find yourselves face-to-face -face with two grunts that are in your path, so you got to headshot these guys. They're probably going to throw grenades as well, so kind of sidestep the grenade while you're headshotting these two guys, and try to avoid as much damage as possible and we're going to just move along through these guys. Those are the only enemies for a long time that we're going to have to deal with, so we're going to grab a health pack as soon as we get out of here along the side of the wall. We're going to turn to the right as we exit this building, and there's going to be health packs along the wall here, so just kind of follow this path over here, and as promised, health packs along the right side. So we're going to grab that, and then we'll speed this part up here. Uh, not much to say in this segment, just follow this path. There's always enemies throughout the city, but I tried to find the best path that has the least amount of enemies that you have to deal with. So just follow this path I'm taking. You can see towards the right over here, there's a bunch of brutes harassing an engineer, but you don't have to deal with those guys at all. Just kind of run over here in this direction. Follow this path. No enemies for a while. We're going to have to deal with a few enemies here, but uh, it's going to be easy enough once we get up here. So you can see there's a bunch of health packs along the walls as you go throughout the city. So if you do take any damage, make sure you grab those as you come across them. Now I've slowed this part down and we're going to head in this direction. You're going to go basically approach this jackal until he sees you. Then you could whip out your pistol and headshot him real quick so you avoid having to deal with him from long range. And there's also a couple grunts they may start shooting at you, so be ready to headshot those guys as well. But we're going to blast past them. Don't spend any time trying to deal with them. Just kind of run past them. You don't actually need to kill them, so we're just going to run towards this door. Keep an eye on your backside because you don't want them to throw a grenade and stick you from behind while you're waiting for the door to open up. But we're just going to stand here patiently as the door does open up. And then we'll head into this area. This is where the next clue is, or the next part that allows you to move into the next mission. So we're going to look for the drone here on the ground. You're going to see it highlighted in yellow because we have the visor mode on. You can see I'm looking at the rooftops on the left and right. That is because there might be a jackal sniper up top. So just keep your eye on the rooftops as you make your way over to this drone so you don't get sniped from the side as you're trying to approach this thing. Because we're right at the end here, so that would be kind of annoying. But activate this thing and we'll trigger a cutscene. We'll head into the next mission. Now we are going to skip ahead to the next mission, the third of three Mombasa Street segments. As we spawn in, we're going to turn towards the left, and I'm going to speed this part up as well. We're basically going to go through the door that we came through to get to this section. You can see as I made my way over to this door, I was scanning the rooftops. Just because there wasn't a jackal here when we arrived doesn't mean there won't be a jackal that spawns in on the rooftops when we spawn back in and we're back at this point. But now that we're out of that area, there's not going to be any jackals in this area at least. It seems like there's a bunch of jackal spawns, and they might spawn there and they might not, but... This area is safe from jackal snipers. Just follow this path. I'm speeding this part up, obviously, and then we'll slow it down in a little bit as we approach uh, this next area here. There's going to be those same brutes harassing that same engineer, so we're just approaching it from a different angle at this point, and you want to just follow this path. There's going to be these guys down below, but they will be easily avoided if you follow this path that I'm taking. There's going to be a jackal sniper in this area that will be on top of the map, so I'll show you how to deal with him in a little bit, but we'll just jump up to here and then make our way across this little skywalk to the other side of this area and then we're going to go into that doorway into the building on the other side. And at that point, the enemies will probably start noticing that you're in this area, but the brutes really aren't going to be an issue at all. It's just the jackal sniper we really have to worry about. As we exit this door, we want to keep moving to the right, but also look up into the left. There's going to be a big structure that kind of spans the entirety of this area, and you're going to see that there's a jackal sniper that appears on top of it, and he's going to notice us and try to shoot us, but you can see he actually goes down with one headshot, even though he has a little bit of shielding from the engineer. He's actually still just a pushover, just a one shot to the head. You could also use this barricade for cover if you want to keep shooting at him as you're waiting for the door to open up. And then we're just going to make our way through here. There's going to be another jackal sniper possibly on this uh, catwalk or whatever this is up ahead here. You can see he's over on the right side, kind of just waltzing towards the left. Again, I don't like to shoot at these jackals until they notice me, so you can see I got pretty close, so it makes it an easier shot for me so I don't have to deal with them from so far away where he has the advantage since he has a sniper, obviously. So get as close as you can. Wait for him to take the sniper off his back. That way you know he's alerted to you, and you can finish him off with a headshot real quick from a much easier range. You can see I slowed the video down once again because there's a jackal right in front of us. Again, I'm not shooting him until he notices me, and then at that point it's a really easy shot, but the jackal isn't always in that exact spot. He is generally in this area, though, so you want to keep your head on a swivel in this area. Check all the platforms, all the ledges where he might be perched up on top, 
and uh, be shooting down at you. So we're going to, at this point, speed it up again. We're past the point where jackal snipers tend to hang out. Follow this path. Avoid getting too close to the enemies in the middle of this area. There are some grunts and brutes over there, so we're just kind of keeping our distance. Usually they don't notice you. Sometimes they do, but even if that does happen, you can make your way over here without taking any damage, really. Go up through this building, and we're going to find ourselves at the Gauss Cannon, and that will trigger the next segment. And now we are skipping ahead. We're going to turn to the left as we spawn in, and we're going to jump down. Instead of going towards the right, which is a more direct path to the next section, we're going to take a roundabout way of getting there, which is much easier and much more safe, even though it does take a little bit longer. But heading to this door, we're going to cut through some buildings by going through here, and there's going to be two fire bombs in here by a dead brute. So we want to grab those two fire bombs. That's going to be important for later. Grab those. Don't use them until I let you know we should be using them. And then we're just going to move into here. This courtyard here sometimes is empty. Sometimes it has two carbine jackals walking through the middle of it. So if there are two jackals here, just headshot them. And if you do take some damage from them, you could headshot the first one and then smack the other one to death to get your stamina back up. Head through this doorway and then up ahead eventually we're going to come across an area where there's two hunters that are kind of just hanging out on the side of the roadway. We want to just kind of be on the other side of the roadway and we could usually avoid detection from them. So I'm going to slow it down here as we approach their position. You can see them on the left side over there. So we're just going to hug the right side as we make our way uh, down the road here. And up ahead, you want to look at the rooftop in front of us here because there's sometimes a jackal sniper perched up there as well. So you want to, similarly to what we did in the past, just get as close as you can to him before he notices you. And then you can finish him off with an easier headshot with your pistol. But he's not here this time, so we don't have to worry about him. We'll head up here to this doorway. And uh, you do want to note that if you do have to shoot the jackal, it will alert the hunters. But you could always just run, continue to run past them, and it's not too bad. Head to this door. We're actually only going to poke our heads in for a short time and then come back the way we came. And this will manipulate the spawns a little bit for us in our favor. So we're just going to move up here. Look to the left. There will be some brutes along with an engineer. I like to just shoot one of the brutes to get their attention, get them all riled up. And then I like to just go back the way we came, go through this door again. And for some reason, I noticed that this manipulates the spawns of the Jackal Sniper, which is really the only problem. We're going to basically go back the way we came, wrap around this whole section, and come into this area again, but from a different side of the map. So, again, you want to look and check this rooftop for a Jackal Sniper. Again, he's not here, but he could be there, even though he wasn't there last time. He could be here as we come back through. Totally random if he spawns or not. We're going to make our way down here. The Hunters are always here, so watch out for those guys. We're going to hug the opposite side of the roadway as we go past them. Then we're going to go through this doorway up ahead here, and we're just wrapping around that big section we were in where we were aggravating the Brutes uh, and basically just coming at it from another angle. So up ahead here, there's sometimes these three enemies. If they are there, that's fine. You can just backsmack all three of them. I'm going to exchange my SMG for the beam rifle on this Jackal, but totally not necessary. I'm going to assassinate the other two Brutes as well, and we're going to go up to the right side, and there's a doorway here we're going to go through. And we're going to get back into that area where we aggravated the brutes. But on the other side, as I mentioned numerous times already, I'm repeating myself. Let's go through this door. It'll open up and we're going to move in here. You want to look at the opposite rooftop over there. You can see I'm zooming in with my beam rifle now. If you don't have the beam rifle, that's fine. Just kind of look over there in that direction and see if there's a jackal sniper. And by doing that whole roundabout path and coming in here from the other side and aggroing them and then leaving and wrapping around the other side, I found that most of the time, like 95% of the time, that gets the jackal sniper to spawn up and to the left of us instead of on one of the other areas that is more deadly and they'll have a better sight line to us. So by them being up and to the left of us, they don't really get a good sight on us because we're not going to allow them to see us really because we're going to take a path that doesn't really have a good angle for them to be able to see us. But open this door up and this is where we want to have the firebomb so we could firebomb this brute chieftain that's kind of just hanging out. All the other grunts are sleeping so we have a decent amount of time where we could kind of line up our firebomb and take out that brute. Then all the other grunts will freak out, just headshot them as you can and then we'll be able to move forward. There's going to be two more grunts down below so you're not done when you clear out this first section. There are two more hanging down below once the, uh, the roadway kind of goes down in that direction. So take out those guys as well. And now we are done with this section. Going back to that previous section we were just in, the only time I found that the Jackal didn't spawn up and to the left of us and out of sight, out of mind basically, was when he was on the rooftop that I was telling you to look at as you enter the area. So deal with him if you need to, but odds are you won't have to. And obviously we are now in the next street segment. We got the detonator and we are now looking for Romeo's sniper rifle. Once again, it's the same enemies in this tunnel, so we're just going to backsmack these sleeping grunts, grab one of their plasma pistols, and we'll have it ready to noob combo that brute 
and that will enable us to kill them quickly, and that will get the grunts up ahead here to just freak out, and they'll turn into suicide grunts possibly, or they'll just freak out without the suicide element, which is fine with us. Either way, doesn't matter. Just headshot them, keep your distance so you don't blow up from all these explosions happening around you with all the grenades on the ground and the ones that are active in the suicide grunt's hands. Then we'll exchange our plasma pistol for a fresher one. So we have a plasma pistol and a pistol. I should mention that you always spawn in with an SMG and a pistol, so you always have full ammo for both of those. So you do have to exchange your weapons for other things in the specific segments if you want different weapons. So we're going to head to the left over here. Just run here as fast as you can down the left side. We're going to go through this doorway over here. And there's going to be enemies that are getting dropped off, so you want to avoid them. You can see there's a beam rifle jackal right here running along the catwalk. So just try to avoid being detected by those guys, but really your main focus is on running to this doorway. You're going to see that there's some brutes that actually notice us and are starting to run towards us. But they are too slow. They're not going to make it here in time. Again, we're at this spot where the jackal tends to be. He's not here a third time in a row. So we're just going to uh, just continue on. We don't have to worry about him. We do want to check, though, so we don't get sniped from behind as we're going past these hunters for one last time. Say your goodbyes because we're not hanging out with these hunters anymore after this point. And obviously, if you do have anything you want to say to them, just yell it across the roadway. Stay as far away from them as possible because if you get too close, they will aggro and start shooting at you and chasing you. But just follow this path. Uh, you can see I slowed down this part. This is, again, a section where a lot of jackal snipers like to accumulate. Uh, usually not a ton, but there are a ton of spawn locations, so uh, potential areas where jackals could be. And there is one up ahead here, it looks like, along the catwalk. So we're going to just deal with him. And I actually don't end up dealing with this guy at all because he doesn't notice me, so I'm just going to go through the doorway underneath him, underneath this catwalk here, and we'll be able to safely go through without him even noticing us. To activate this doorway, and you can see I am turning around and looking at the catwalk every so often because I want to make sure he's not going to actually surprise us and snipe us in the back of the head. So now that the doorway is open, we'll go through, and there's not going to be any more enemies in this playthrough. One time, I came across a ghost, actually. There was a brute and a ghost, but he's easy enough to take out if you do come across him. It's random if you happen to, you know, get him to spawn in for you or not. But all you would do if you did come across him is just overcharge plasma pistol the ghost. That will stun it, and then you could quickly board it and just speed off to the end here or the end of this section where the sniper rifle is so easy enough you have the pistol and plasma pistol still so you could do that and we are going to move on to the next one now immediately turn to the left and follow this path there's going to be a phantom that comes in and starts shooting at you very quickly and it's going to drop off some troops as well so just make sure you head in this direction right off the spawn even though I started moving right away, you could see there were some shots on the ground right as I went around that corner. But we didn't take any damage because we were fast enough, even though it was a close one. So we're just going to go over here, and we're going to just follow this path. You're going to avoid most of the enemies by doing so. And we will slow this down shortly because there's going to be a jackal sniper on the rooftop over towards the left. So we're going to hug the right side here in this section. And you can see I'm looking towards the left to make sure that Jackal does not take notice of us. If he does, obviously I would shoot him at that point, but I'm not going to try to draw his attention uh, unnecessarily. Sometimes that Jackal is on the right side, so you want to just look at the roof line in general there. He could be on the left, could be on the right. This time it was the left, so we're just going to move through here now. In this section, you want to hug the right side as well, and I started getting attacked, and I was very confused because this has never happened to me before. Apparently there is a jetpack brute up on top of the structure right here which, again, never happened to me, so I was very uh, startled and didn't know what to do, didn't know where he was even shooting at me from. But either way, we're just going to hug the right side, run past that whole section, cut in towards the left after hugging the right side, and we'll get to this point. We're going to go through this doorway, and up ahead here, we want to cut diagonally through this next section. You can see I kind of veer towards the right. I'm looking at all the rooftops because there sometimes is a jackal sniper somewhere, so I kind of get a little too far towards the right. You want to stay in the middle, pretty much just cut straight across this whole section, and uh, you will see that there are some health packs in the middle as well that you could grab on your way through here. And there's also the, uh, the Jackal Sniper I finally was able to locate in here, so we picked him off. And you'll see the reason we don't want to veer too far towards the right is because there is a Brute kind of just hanging out up there, just standing at the top of the stairs, along with some sleeping grunts. So we don't want to deal with those guys. Uh, somehow they didn't notice me. Even when I shot that Jackal, I was far enough away where it didn't aggro them, so we're just going to cut right through like I mentioned. You're going to see that there's a jackal sniper a lot of the time will be on top of this rooftop as well. So once again, I'm not shooting at him until he sees me and starts, you know, trying to shoot me by taking his gun off his back. That's when you know he sees you is when he kind of flips that over his shoulder. He did not become aware of me that time, so I didn't even shoot at him at all. And that allows us to go to the biofoam canister over here uninhibited. This will be the end of this segment and we will go to the final one, 7 out of 7, coming up right after this cutscene. We're going to skip ahead to it right now. As you come out of this, you want to turn to the right, and there's going to be two grunts to your right, two to the left. We're just going to deal with the ones on the right side because that's the direction we're heading in, so we're going to pick these guys off. 
and take one of their plasma pistols. So we have a plasma pistol and a pistol at this point. If these guys both have needlers, you could always turn around and kill the two grunts on the other side coming at you. So you could grab a plasma pistol from them, hopefully. But one of them over here had a plasma pistol, so we could just continue moving in this direction. There's a hunter running around, but just ignore him. We're going to hug the left side and go along here. There's going to be two jetpack brutes, most likely, in the roadway up ahead here. So we're just going to noob combo these guys really quick. So collapse their shields with an overcharged plasma pistol, and then finish them off with a headshot with your regular pistol. And we'll make quick work of those two guys. Or maybe not super quick, depending on how uh, quickly you could land the headshot. And this guy has turned in the opposite direction that we want him to be. There we go. He turned around for his headshot, and now we can move up ahead towards the right. Hug the right side. There's going to be a bunch of enemies towards the left. One has a fuel rod, so you want to do this very quickly. Run towards the right and activate the door over here. That will trigger the cutscene, and that is the final Mombasa Street segment. We've done it, all seven. So there you have it. There's actually a lot more enemies in the streets than we saw in this video, but with these routes, we're able to consistently avoid the majority of them. And once again, not 100% necessary. You could always play the non-stop action lasso playlist and get the achievement that way and avoid all these Mombasa Street segments altogether. But you guys asked for it, so here it is. Good luck, and I'll see you later for more Halo achievements. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found that video helpful, be sure to click on the scorpion icon to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. You could also check out some related guides by clicking on the videos on screen, and you could find links in the description for other social media links of mine. Stay tuned for more Halo guides, and I'll see you in the next one.